Good afternoon, football. Dennis Cometti here, broadcasting. Dennis Cometti here, broadcasting live. Today's game from the main stadium. Matthew Richardson is my comrade in the box for this match. Welcome, Richo. Yes, thanks, Dennis. Real pleasure to be here for this game today. Toss of the coin. The Bulldogs kicking to the left of screen. I can't wait for this encounter to begin, and I think the crowd would agree with me too. They're on the edge of their seats. My favorite time of the day, the first bounce. There is no glory in practice, but without practice, there is no glory. Punched by Roughhead. Handballs out into space. Has clearly been shopping at Clangers or Us. A stab kick from Mundy. Nice mark under pressure. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Beautiful. Wood sends one up towards the wing. Bontem Kelly wins the marking contest. Stabs the ball. Dalhouse having no trouble taking that one. Moves it quickly by hand. Boyd drives the ball towards goal. Point the difference. Dawson really wears his heart on his sleeve. Five marks the ball. He gets boot to the ball. He grabs it. He slams that on the boot. Monday picks up the loose ball. Clark with the running catch. Advantage, play on. Choose to kick it. And the mark will be paid. Pass by McCarthy. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Sandlin sends the ball on its way. Mundy's got a huge jump on him. Sending it on its way. That's a nice, strong mark. Walters with the shot. Liberatore handballs to space. He gathers the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Hand passes to the running man. Weller with the mark. Walks it across the ground. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. McCarthy runs past and gets the ball. Wood pummels in. Quantum Pelly gets it on the bounce. McCrake lobs the pass. Going for goal number one. He's missed a lot. The ball goes out of bounds. Dawson puts it on the boot. Gathers the ball. Then grabs it on the run. Kicked by Spur. Takes the mark all by himself. Superb handball. A spearing kick from five. An easy grab for McCarthy. Puts good to ball. And the mark will be paid. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Walters might struggle for this distance. Trims the grass with that one. Great play. Johansson needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. He gets it under pressure. Pierce slams the ball to his boot. Goes by hand. 
Interception. Lobs the pass. Knocks up his first touch. McCarthy puts his head down and runs in. Intercepted. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Nice work from McRae. Choose to kick it. He's no oil panning, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Cordy, a long way out. Well, if you could hand-pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. The Bulldogs by two points. Not much on offer for Dawson. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Jams it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Choose to kick it. Great grab. Jams it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Sandlands has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what we expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Puts boot to bowl. Pick up by Wood. He's dragged down. He has the ball. Oh, smart interception. Tavern had hooked it like a fluffed forward. Fremantle only trailing by less than a goal. He's looking for options now. Hill presents and takes the man. Boots it. Bonton Pelly claims it. Bonton Pelly feeds it wide. Nice hands. But it's filling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. That play is as high tech as it can for. Pierce plays it off to the running man. Takes control of the ball. And the umpire says, we'll have a ball up. Clark. Takes control of the ball. He handballs. Tabernet bumped off the ball. Morris. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Sandlands with the ball. Kept his composure then, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. 45 metres out. Now this shouldn't be too hard for McCarthy. He'll be happy with that. Kicks a goal they badly needed. Good start by Fremantle. And that's the end of the first term. Fremantle 8 took the Bulldogs 2. They have been pretty wasteful in this match and if they lose they will look back and rue the missed opportunities. We'll go to Richo for the stats. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that close. The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even with the Western Bulldogs on 11 and Fremantle on 9. Thanks, Richo. Here we go again, corner number two. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. With the ball now, he's racking up possessions. He's missed. It's not a brave attempt or a stupid attempt, Richard. Bit of both, I think, Dan. Dawson waiting for the man to free up. Good mark by Ruffy. Quick hands find the running player. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Lays it off to Liberatore. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Dalhouse put the ball out. Behind starting to run up. Put the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs trail by less than a goal. Dawson has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays.
He wins the contested mark. He boots it. Strong mark there. He plays it on. Stringer with the kick. Mundy gathers the ball. Liberatore blocks it. He's intercepted it. He slams that on the boot. Pierce gets the mark without contest. Kicks beyond the wing. Caught by five. 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 Can always get up on the shoulders and he doesn't have to use his hands. He's just got a great technique. He wins the contested mark. Murphy with the kick. He gets it under pressure. Roberts with handball. Liberatore replies back. Pressure didn't phase him. Kicks as cool as the other side of the pillar. Boyd has made a terrible mistake. How did he miss that? Less than one goal in this match. The Bulldogs still very much in it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Bumps the big skin, and the mark will be paid. Mundy is incredibly competitive, and you can count on the fact that if he makes a mistake, apart from being dirty on himself, you won't see another one for a long, long time. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Picked by Liberatore. Magnificent leap and mark. Frederick taking aim. Shoots off the handball. Gets it away in the nick of time. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Gathered by Dalhouse. Going for goal number one. That was a narrow miss. The Western Bulldogs manages to rack up another behind. Dawson. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cooler head so he can make the right decisions more often. Five with the catch. Sending it on its way. He grabs it off the ground. Good hand skills there. Head down, going for goal. Strong mark there. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Score for the Bulldogs. Thought he kept his cool and gives them a timely goal. The Bulldogs steal back the lead. Brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Guided by Roughhead, nothing presenting, he fires it to an empty space. They've conceded possession. Cordy has seen plenty of the footy. Approaching the goals now. Cordy just makes the goal line. He's back the couple now. That's two in a row for the Western Bulldogs. The Western Bulldogs lead the Dockers. A dead straight bounce. Clark will give you a competitive contest in every hit out, I can assure you of that. But the midfielders are going to have to work really hard to earn the centre clearances off his ruck work. Cordy gets possession. Cordy gets the ball. Dawson takes the opportunity. A powerful kick from Dawson. A clean pick up. He gets another possession. Gives it to the running man. He picks up the loose ball. Pierce somehow manages to get that ball out with all those players around him. Sandlins lays it off to the running man. Roberts has had plenty of it, Richo. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. Cordy claims the ball. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Gets good to leather. Bennell takes the mark. Jams it on the boot. Sutcliffe gets the upper hand. Heads for the boundary line. Bicken takes the mark. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Dalhouse boots it. McCray got under it. Goes towards half forward. Five claims it. 
Moves it quickly by hand. He gives the ball away. Mundy tackles and causes the ball to come loose as he brings down Flipatora. <coughs> is in his possession. She's running hot for it, Joe. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. <coughs> McCarthy gathers it. They've conceded possession. Sweeping handball. Sends the ball out into space. Ruffhead going for number one. Every footballer scores better when he actually learns his capabilities. The Bulldogs with the advantage as they lead the Dockers 19 to 8. Dawson assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. It's with him now. Did he see a ghost? He handballs. Liberatore. The siren sounds and that's the end of the second term. The scores Western Bulldogs 19 to the Dockers 8. Part of the reason why the Bulldogs, it's a really even strong squad at halftime. The Dockers are tired and the competitive edge isn't there. Richo, now with his stats. Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Much appreciated, Richo. We're halfway through this match and things are getting interesting. And here we go for the second half. How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game, whether you're a loser or a winner. Clark hand passes. All up in the center square. Good tap from Clark. McCarthy picks up the bouncing ball. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. They've conceded possession. Boots it. Cordy having no trouble taking that one. 50 minutes from home. Get back in from this position. It's in the air. The Western Bulldogs get a goal. That's three in a row for the Western Bulldogs. The Bulldogs fight 17. The Western Bulldogs were just playing kick to kick out there and have barely had to climb a loose ball in the forward line. A short handball. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Gets a handball away towards the man on the right. Head down. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. A brave shot, but an unwise run in the air. The goal eluding them each time. Might have to kick it to himself. Massive screamer from Cordy. Sends it on its way. A good mark under the circumstances. Picture perfect drop count. The contest, no match for him. Gets boot to leather. Smith has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. Going for goal number one. Collected by Mundy. He has the ball. Liberatore with the ball. Sweeping handball. Out of bounds in the pocket. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Strong man. Walks it across the ground. He's running hot, Richard. He's been outstanding all match, Dan. Yet another possession. Ruffett with the running catch. He's been captured with the ball and it's going to be holding it. Monday with the kick. He wins the contest. Booted by 40. Strong man. Bell boots it. Wins the hard ball. Gets boot to high. Sandlin's with the catch. Kicks hurriedly. Mundy grabs that one. Mundy's got an amazing vertical leap. He slams that on the boot. Roberts takes the mark. He slams that on the boot. Oh, that was some hang time. Works it across the ground. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Fife wants it back. Ball up in the center square. Big thumb from Roughhead. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Bontempelli passes to no one in particular. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Superb handball. I'm lost for words after that kick. Can you help me out, Richard? I don't know what to say, Dennis.
Dawson got a really good footballing brain. Sutcliffe collects it. Five finds the running player. Ball comes out as he goes down. Good hand skills there. He wants it back. He boots it. Boyd, the better man there. 40 minutes from home. Going for goal number one. Boyd does go with it. It's true. Gets his first. And they stretch out their lead. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Good bounce. Guided by Roughhead. Cordy controls it. Sweeping handball. Get that weak shiitake mushroom out of here. The bouncing ball is controlled. Spurk taken high, and he'll get the free kick. No more time. Play on's the core. Mundy looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Gets boot to high. Dalhouse takes the mark. Dalhouse can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Smith scoops up the ball. It's in his possession. Johnson by hand. Clark kicks the ball. McCarthy having no trouble taking that one. Walters with a strong mark. Gets boot to leather. Roberts takes the mark. Kicks it. Great mark under pressure. Monday feeds it wide. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. No questioning whether Fremantle can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. Fremantle need to start kicking more direct for goal. Five kicks it. Valentine lays it off to the running man. Collected by Boyd. Kicks it. Bennell takes the mark. Sends it on its way. Great mark. Wood puts the ball in the hands of Fate. Nice contested mark by Pippen. Slams it on the boot. Dalhouse has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Good drop pass by Quantum Pelly. Did you like that term, Richard? Outplayed, outgunned, Fremantle need to take stock and show some real vigour here in the last. They have the talent in the legs, but do they have the belief? There's been a lot to enjoy in the third quarter. The scores are the Bulldogs, 33, Fremantle, 8. The Western Bulldogs fans will be hoping that the Western Bulldogs can maintain the momentum going into the final term and wrap this match up early so they can savour the victory. Richo has some stats for us now. Fremantle stats not reflecting their poor effort on the scoreboard. Insightful, Richard. Both teams look like they enjoyed the three-quarter time break as we enter this, the fourth turn. The game isn't over till it's over. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Clark, not even close to getting a hit out. You might have to take a leaf out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Roberts, not phased by the pressure, gets his kick away. Dalhouse has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. He plays it on. Liberatore misses the goals. The Bulldogs lead, Fremantle. He may just play under himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Hill marks it. Jams it on the boot now. And the mark will be paid. Kicks it. Taken by Walters. Sends it on its way. Valentine under the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Wood is streaming past and gets the footy. Liberatore handballs it to the open paddock. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Mundy intercepts it. Is in his possession. Intercepted by Dalhouse. He gains possession. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. Cordy picks up the bouncing ball. Well, for me, a few words come to mind for that kick, but none of them are allowed on air. What are your thoughts, Richard? One word, Dennis. Disgraceful. Dawson has been a solid contributor for this team. 
his coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. The mark will be paid. 40, taking aim. He kicks the ball. Clark put a strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. Stringer gets some real air time. Stringer kicks out along the boundary line. Pierce looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. He gets his hands on the footy. He collects the loose ball. Liberatore, a good drummer, is in his possession. Nice work from Boyd. The Bulldogs have scored the last five goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Rough head. It's really good at getting up in the ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. Wood with the catch. He slams that on the boot. He gets the upper hand. Bontempelli kicking the skin off that one. Ruffhead with the cap. And goes short. Liberatore takes a shot. Dawson hit him off it out. Sutcliffe runs past and gets the ball. Cordy gathers it. He receives the handball. Well, with kicking like that, you'd have to say it's a goal he would have kicked 99 times out of a thousand. The Western Bulldogs just can't nail a goal. Looks like he's going to go long. Mundy is able to grab it on the half volley. Gives it to Clark. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. Yet another possession. The ball in the hands of Johannesson with the quick hands. Intercept by Liberatore. He gains possession. Pontempelli is getting the ball again and again. Gets a handball away. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Was that a throw? I think it was. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Wins the handball. The dominance we're seeing from the Western Bulldogs at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. He gets the behind. 40. Gets another behind. The Western Bulldogs lead. Not much on offer for Dawson. The contest, no match for him. Sutcliffe kicks it. Marks. Sends the Sharon on its way. Taken by Sandilands. A long kick there. Roberts takes the mark. The Bulldogs have been dominant in the air and they're marking everything. Fremantle need to stop trying to outmark the Western Bulldogs and just get a fist into the contest. He lays off the pass. The ball is mopped up. The loose ball is picked up. Wood scoops up the ball. Bontempelli with the catch. Handballs from the tackle. Keeps it close to the ground. He was never going to get that. McCarthy has been a step and a half too slow all game. He runs into the goal. Boyd with the ball. A short handball. Bontempelli with the kick. Picked up the ball. With the ball now. She's running hot, Richo. He's been outstanding all match, Dan. He's got the football now. Approaching the goals now. Cordy likes his chances for goal. Only the hundred. Would you believe it? Another point. The Western Bulldogs by six goals. We look for a quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. Takes possession. 
Jones goes short with a hand pass. Hunter calls for it back. Hands it out to open space. Stringer slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. 65 metres out. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Dalhouse watching with anticipation. The dock is broken. More gaps in their team than a seven-year-old smart. Now that it's all over, how did you see that game, Richard? It was all over early in the match. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richard. Scores are 50 to 8. Well, Richo, it's been a fun match. We've enjoyed that one. It's been a pleasure, Dennis. We'll catch you next time.